Welcome back everybody. This is our 2003 Land Rover Discovery. It has a 4.6 V8 in it and it only has 100,000 miles on it and ran great until one day it smelled like burnt wires through a number five and a number eight misfire code. So I put eight new spark plugs in it and still had the same misfire problems. So I was pretty sure that it was going to be coil packs or spark plug wires but you can't replace the plug wires unless you have access to the coils. If you're like me, you've watched a lot of videos and seen a lot of things and found out that they're stuffed between the firewall and the intake. Well, I didn't want to get into those kind of issues because it ran way too good. I didn't want to open a can of worms. This is just what I did. You can unclip this harness, pull it out of the way, reach back in here with two real long screwdrivers and maybe two or three flashlights shining in from different angles and kind of see what's going on. Now your factory harness on the firewall looks just like this it has a female fitting with three female blades in it and a spring-loaded retaining clip you hold this in with one screwdriver pry on it with the other screwdriver and it'll pop right off so I don't cut factory wiring harnesses ever so I wanted to build an extension jumper to go from the factory harness up here to my new coil so what I found was this kit and it worked perfect for me. It took a while to find it though. This kit is the male terminal kit. This is the female terminal kit. Of course, this is the female end. The male end, I plugged into the factory female and just run up here and put the female end on it. Now this kit comes with the plug, comes with all the blades inside of here, and it comes with the rubber seals to make this waterproof. Then I just went to a local hardware store I bought some 16 gauge wire and corrugated plastic stuff and some zip ties and just built my own extensions and just plugged it in. Then I went and bought this exact part number and it's the custom length set of course just for the coil pack relocation. Uh, come conveniently numbered in case you don't know how to put spark plug wires on. I guess it's for everybody. But anyways, they're the perfect length. I just plug right in. You can buy your own wires one at a time, probably. Probably just going to cost you more in the long run. Bought these cheap spark plug wire dividers on eBay. Bolted them into the existing bolts already on the engine. Didn't have to do anything special there. Same deal here. Use the existing hole from the factory on the alternator bracket. Put a metric bolt in it. Had this bracket floating around the garage, couldn't tell you what it came from. Uh, bolted it to the blocks, metric bolt. Put another metric bolt here. And my coil packs from O'Reilly's, lifetime warranty. I like it. I think it's a good setup. Uh, if I ever have any issues now with plugs or wires, I can troubleshoot one at a time. I can replace one at a time or all of them. Or if the coil pack goes bad, I can just have it off there in 10 minutes. Throw it back on O'Reilly's counter and walk out with a new one and be back on the road in no time uh, not have to tear half the engine apart to get to it i like it it runs great uh, the old spark plug wires are still stuck on the coils still stuck behind the engine so in the meantime i just zipped them out of the way zip tied them out of the way just to uh, make sure that my new coil packs is going to solve my problem and not you know cut these old wires or end up being forced to pull the intake off and fix something so, they're just tucked out of the way for now, but uh, I probably won't even mess with them. Probably just leave them there out of the way for now. Runs great. That's what I did. Just use those part numbers there, and I was in business. So, that's what I did. Uh, good luck, whatever you choose to do.